G'day guys, today I'm so excited. We've managed to come across one of my absolute favourite animals in all of Madagascar. And one with, I think, the coolest name as well. This here in my hand is the Satanic leaf tail Gecko, Europlatus fantasticus. These guys are endemic to Madagascar, um, and their camouflage is some of the best in the world, uh, of any animal. They look just like a dead leaf. They sit in the trees around here and blend in. You will never see them. Unless you know exactly what you're looking for, they are impossible to find. This here is a little female. You can tell because she's got this small little tail without any uh, notches in it. The males have a big fat tail with these little edges taken out on the sides but they'll sit and they'll wrap their tail around, sort of wrap it around like that, and they'll just disappear. One of the reasons that I love these geckos so much is because thanks to the shape of their heads and the little horns above their eyes that give them their name, I reckon they look just like a little dragon. The camouflage of the satanic leaf-tailed gecko is so effective thanks to a couple of things. Just like a dead leaf, they have a network of lines on their skin that looks like veins branching out from their spine. They also have what would appear to be light mold spots, which you can see as she climbs up my arm here. Even their legs have developed to help provide camouflage, looking just like little twigs. The gecko will flatten themselves against the tree, leaf or twig that they're resting on to reduce the shadow of their body as well. But it's hard to look like a dead leaf if you're moving around. So these geckos spend most of their time staying very, very still, almost frozen in place. As I'm sure you can imagine, this makes them that much more difficult to spot. Look at her on this tree. You can see exactly what I was talking about with all of the little adaptations that make them masters of camouflage. The veins, the leaf-like tail, the mouldy spots. How extraordinary is evolution? All the leaf-tailed gecko species are entirely nocturnal beasts. Um, they hunt at night, looking for insects. These ones will sit uh, horizontally across a twig while they're hunting. One of the great things about filming here in Ranamafana National Park is you're never alone. You know, you're here with what looks like just the gecko, but all around you are a Vaza parrot. I think probably the greater Vaza. You can hear a, I think it's a cuckoo roller further down, down the mountain, there's just always life. That evolution can sit here and make something this well camouflaged, looking just like a dead leaf, I think it's pretty incredible. Isn't she just the most special little gecko? I think they're just the incredible little animal. The leaf tail geckos though are highly specialised. They rely so much on the forest. It leaves them in a really precarious position. If we lose the forest, we lose the geckos. So if we want to keep them around, which I mean, I really do. How could anybody not want to keep an animal this special around? We gotta look after the forests. One of the best ways we can help do that, raising awareness though, as always. So make sure you share the video around, tag a friend or two, like it. Together, we can help keep life a little bit wild. I'm pretty excited to have shown you this gorgeous little animal. She's just going to disappear after this and we're going to leave it to it. Thanks for joining us guys and we'll see you next time.